who walked into the stage, the CTO and EVP of Products, Technology, and Strategy for Plantronics, Joe Burton. Joe, come on out. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. Hey, thanks, David. Awesome. Welcome. So tell us a little bit about why you're interested in this technology. Well, Plantronics has been involved with the WebRTC community for a number of years due to its potential. For the community and the industry, WebRTC represents the democratization of communications. And for Plantronics, that means that every browser is a potential audio endpoint for us to integrate with. And that's great for our customers, and it's great for our business. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So you've been working for months getting this beta ready for us. What'd you think? Well, the experience has been very positive. Our focus has been to integrate Plantronics devices with AT&T's APIs. The developer site has comprehensive information, and the sample code was very easy for us to use. With minimal help, we were able to get the sample application up and running and begin prototyping. So we really believe AT&T has created something that could help transform the communications industry as we know it. Uh, and it helps us, consistent, uh, uh, helps us considerably as we try to keep the customer experience front and center. That's awesome. So without further ado, let's show the audience what this thing can do. Well, that's great. So in the scenario that we're going to show, I'm in my office, and it's the end of the day, and I get an urgent request to fly out to see a customer tomorrow. So as you can see, I navigate to a travel website, and since it's the end of a busy day, I'm already running very late for my daughter, daughter's soccer game. And I run into a problem trying to buy my plane ticket. So um, what I have to do then is have a conversation with the customer care rep to fix it. But luckily, this travel website has implemented AT&T's enhanced WebRTC, which means even though I'm placing the call from my browser, the call's going to look like it's coming in from the AT&T mobile phone number that I've had for years. And in this case, the travel website has actually gone a step farther. They've incorporated the customer's phone numbers into their CRM system. So as my call is received through its um, uh, AT&T mobile phone number, the travel website uses it as a way to identify me. Good afternoon, Mr. Burton. This is Jason at Jetaway. How can I help you today? Hey, I've run into a problem on your website. I need to buy a ticket leaving San Jose tomorrow morning to Chicago and coming back tomorrow night. OK, I can help you with that. Let's see what we have available. Well, and of course, uh, we know this is going to be a great experience because the website uh, has all their travel agents using uh, Plantronics headsets as well. Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's fabulous. That is a trained customer service exactly. Fantastic. In the back room. I mean, how can they lose between <laughs> Plantronics and AT&T? That's right. Okay, so let's say I'm still trying to work through this with the travel agent when I realize that I have to leave now to get to my daughter's soccer game. So with AT&T's uh, uh, WebRTC API, I'm able to transfer calls from my laptop to the smartphone while staying connected. So I'm able to actually touch the screen, and it comes over here, and I actually click. Hello, this is Joe. OK, great. Good. We've managed to get the, the call transferred over. Uh, let's do that. Can you tell me how much it is? $379 round trip? Great. Just put it on my credit card and send me an email confirmation. OK, David, I just uh, bought my plane ticket. That's incredible. That's super cool. So I want to make sure you caught all that. Joe was able to make a call from his laptop. His AT&T mobile phone number served as his caller ID. And then he transferred the call from his laptop to his smartphone so he could get to his daughter's soccer game. And this is just one example of how WebRTC is going to completely change the way we communicate. Joe, that's an awesome demo. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks so much, David. Great.